Hi everyone and welcome to another Fusion 360 challenge of the month and for this month we are going to create the challenge for March. Now joining our monthly challenge is very easy. All you have to do is email us your full name, school name to Autodesk Community Philippines at gmail.com. And by completing all of the challenges, which is up to January 2018, you will be receiving an Autodesk Certificate of Completion signed by Autodesk CEO. And learning all the monthly challenges raises the possibility and percentage of you in passing the Fusion 360 Certified User Exam. Hands on your keyboard and let's get started to create the challenge for March. I am going to head up and under file, I'm going to select new design. Now our challenge is in the units of millimeter gram second. So it's already in millimeter, leaving this at the default state. Let's start creating a box. So I'm going to hit R to grab our rectangle tool. Now I am prompted to select a face or plane. I am going to select our XZ plane, so left click. I will drop our first corner at our origin, but first I'm going to go to our feature options and change our rectangle type to center rectangle. So left click. Let's drop our center point here at the origin. So left click at the origin, moving our cursor. I want my model to resemble the actual isometric position of the drawing. So I'm gonna go to home view. And for the dimension A, I'm gonna key in 100. I'm gonna hit tab and tab once more to cycle through now for C it's 60 millimeters and I'm gonna hit enter now my sketch profile turned into black meaning it's fully constrained now if yours is not in the color of black you may change the settings by going to preferences and under preview, I want you to check sketch. I'm going to hit cancel. Now I can proceed to stop sketch, but the quick way would be hitting E to grab our extrude tool. Now I am prompted to select a profile, selecting this profile. So left click. Let's grab this arrow up to give it a height. Now the specific dimension of our height is 50. So this is currently highlighted in blue, meaning I can key in and hit enter. I'm going to go back to our home view. And the highlight of this challenge is for us to create this surface. And to do that, I'm going to hit L just to go to sketch mode and select this face. Left click. I'm going to hit escape to disable line and hit S to grab our toolbox. Now on our toolbox, I'm going to type in PO and locating, selecting point. Now we are prompted to drop our point. I will place our point at this edge. Left click here and drop another point that is aligned horizontally with our origin here. Left click. I'm going to hit escape to disable the command and head to constraints 
selecting horizontal vertical making sure that our origin and this point is aligned horizontally next I'm gonna hit D to grab our dimension selecting this edge and our point left click moving here left click here to drop our dimension now the distance this edge to this point is 15 plus 25 hitting enter next hitting D once more from this point up to this point the horizontal dimension is 30 so left click here keying in 30 hitting enter and I'm gonna head up to stop sketch as of this moment we have point 1 and point 2 in addition we have a cut feature here so I'm gonna hit L to grab our line tool and go into sketch mode prompted to select a face or plane selecting our bottom face left click at this bottom we have a triangle I'm gonna go back to look at let's drop our first point here up to here hitting escape and hitting D to grab our dimension tool selecting this point and this edge moving our cursor here left click to drop our dimension I'm gonna key in 10 hitting enter now in addition make sure that you have a coincident constraint here and here making sure that our points is coincident for this one to the vertical edge and this one to the horizontal edge next this point is obviously aligned horizontally with our origin so I'm gonna go to horizontal vertical selecting our origin and this point so it turned into black it's fully constrained I'm gonna hit escape and hit E now for the profile selecting this triangular profile going to home view pulling our arrow up now under extent I'm going to select all operation cut and hit OK going back to home view moving forward let's create the cut here at the back so hitting L prompted to select a face selecting this face left click dropping our first point at this edge moving here left click hitting escape and hitting D to grab our dimension selecting this edge and this point dropping our dimension here and we're gonna key in 10 hitting enter right click and selecting repeat dimension selecting this edge and this point moving up dropping my dimension here I'm going to key in 10 hitting enter and hitting E to grab our extrude tool selecting this profile moving this arrow to the right the value to be negative 15 hitting enter going to home view with our points and corners in place we're going to head up to construct and select plane through three points so left click prompted to select three vertices points or sketch points selecting the sketch point left click the sketch point left click 
this sharp corner, left click. Next, moving up to modify and selecting split body. The body to split is this body, left click. Activating splitting tool, which is our newly constructed plane, left click and hit OK. Next, instead of moving to the toolbar and locating mirror, I'm going to hit S to grab our toolbox, typing MI and selecting mirror. The pattern type to be features, the object, selecting split body, selecting extrude 3, left click, and extrude 2. Activating mirror plane. Our intent is to select our XY plane, but our XY is embedded inside this body. So what we can do is hold our left mouse button and a drop down will appear selecting x y compute option adjust and hit ok going to home view and let's turn off the visibility of our construction plane going to bodies expanding this one selecting body one holding control body 2 selecting body 4 now I can hit V to hide our bodies or I can select all the three bodies right click and select remove so body 3 is our existing body going to home view Let's have a minor check. I can select this edge. This should be 20. So left click. And at the bottom corner, it says 20. So confirmed. Congratulations for completing our March monthly challenge. Lastly, inviting you to check out MSI's WT726QJ mobile workstation. Fusion 360 tremendously runs very smooth with this baby that boasts 6th gen Intel Core i7 processor with RAM up to 64GB and graphics card by NVIDIA Quadro M2000M. Head to your nearest MSI reseller now. See you all next month for another Fusion 360 monthly challenge. Awesome.